I'm walking home because it's not too bad of a day today. It's only minus 14 Celsius or as they would say minus or just three degrees Fahrenheit. But there's There is a, a pretty good wind today, but it feels like a warm wind, and it's supposed to warm up to minus four for Christmas Eve tomorrow, so, and this is pretty much self-explanatory for what I'm trying to record here so and this is whisper star doing it live for a <laughs> with tons of cars going by Or is Christmas Eve today? Yeah, maybe it is today. I don't know. Didn't look at the calendar. Let's see, I had surgery on Thursday, which was the 22nd. So yesterday was the 23rd. Today's the 24th. So it must be Christmas Eve. Ho ho ho. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm on pain medication. <laughs> outside. Probably should have went for a walk, but if she's missing a sucky cup, I put it on the counter at the at something special. Hello? Hello. If she's missing a sucky cup, I put it on the counter at something special. What's that, sorry? If she's missing a sucky cup, a pink one. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just recording this guy. Alright, what's that? Um, if she dropped her sucky cup, uh, no, I don't think a so. pink one, I put it on the counter at something special. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I, I was pretty sure it was hers. I don't know, she didn't drop one. No, but, uh, and it's uh, pretty pink. Yeah, I don't know whose that would be. It's not hers, but... Oh, hers is inside. She... Well, there's a name on it, but I couldn't exactly read it. Oh, okay. Thank you, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and Jonathan. Jonathan, yeah. the pastor? Yes, yeah. I'm Jade. Jade, okay. Oh, you live... That's I'm right. Mark's wife. Yeah, yeah. No, I met Mark the other day. Yeah. yeah. Good. Besides huh. working at the pork industry, he's a guitar player. Oh, wow. Neat. Yeah. That's neat. Does he play with a group or something? or? Well, there's a few people trying to get a group started, but he, they don't really play the same styles of music. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, he does love playing the classical. Yeah, that's what he does. Like the Bach and the Oh, very neat. He yeah. likes playing the uh, Bach and the Okay, okay. A lot of that is kind of semi-religious. How about you? What do you enjoy? Do you play music or...? Sometimes, but I mainly paint and I'm an author. Okay. 
okay. Uh, of what kind of? Well, so far nonfiction. I I write medical textbooks for universities and colleges for med students, and then I do the workbooks. Okay. Yeah, because I spent 31 years nursing. Wow. Okay. First 15 is a. RNBN, okay, yeah. and then the next 16 years as a registered psychiatric nurse with a Bachelor of Science in Mental Health. Okay, yeah. And I took nine years of theology. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, what are you pastor of? Uh, the church here, Vita Bible Church. The which church? The Vita Bible Church here in town. Yeah. yeah. But what specific religion is that? Well, it's Christian, like we're, we're, uh, Christian Church. It's uh, it's uh, the denomination is called Fellowship of Evangelical Bible Churches. Really? Yeah. So what's it like? Well, it's uh, it's, we are we're sixty to eighty people, I guess. And uh, hey, ever since I was a little girl, my dad has, has always had always let me try out new churches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of little, lots of young, uh, lots of kids and um, families and a variety of ages and um, yeah, we have some music, some guitar, and singing, and then we have uh, guitar. Message. Yeah, Mark plays guitar and sings. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. would probably really enjoy that. Yeah. We're both Roman Catholic. We're baptized Roman Catholic, yeah. but yeah. we don't care for. church here in town or once yeah okay but it's not that we don't believe we do it's just all the stuff that i don't know they they, they have too many rules like, i don't know it's just it, it doesn't seem right plus i went to an old girls Yeah, they were trying to train me to cook for a company. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, well, you're definitely welcome. Welcome to come. It's just. It's, right in town, we normally have services at about 11 o'clock, and then. So this week, this, we're having a Christmas Day service at 10.30. This week, so. At 10.30 Christmas Day? Christmas Day, and same New Year's Day. These, these next two weeks, it's at 10.30, yeah. Normally we meet at 11, but it's, yeah, it's 10.30. Well, I, I just had surgery on uh, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. And I've got five incisions. Wow. So I'm actually not even supposed to be walking. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to still be in bed. But yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I can talk Mark into going tomorrow <laughs> morning yeah. or else well, when New Year's. Ready. Yeah, well, it would be great to have you, yeah. I should be feeling better on New Year's. Is it going well? Your recovery is going going okay? Just solid stone. Plus they had suction out stones from the liver duct, the pancreatic duct, the adrenal ducts wow. for the kidneys, and the bile duct. So, it had had me pretty sick for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have Christmas plans? Do you have to go with some family or anything? Or? Not this year. I was, they had told me that I would, they would be keeping me in the hospital over Christmas, so okay. yeah. we didn't make any. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, yeah. uh, so, they'll just be basically the two of us. And most of the friends that I used to have that were around here um, have either moved away, yeah. a couple have passed away, okay. and uh, one last year actually in a car accident. Oh, wow. yeah. And um, the other ones, I don't know their married <laughs> anymore. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I still know their maiden names. I just don't know their their married names. So I'm not gonna hop in the phone book and are you so and so? Are you so and so? Are you so and so? Because we only moved here in 2014, so okay, yep. we yep. bought this house and the guest house in the back. Because oh, okay. I'm hoping that either my uncle or my father-in-law will be moving into it. Okay. Yeah. 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 So there's an extra house. In... Okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah. We we have some fixing up to do in it, but yeah. I mean, it's got it's two bedrooms. It's mm -hmm. got a little living room, a little yeah. kitchen, and a little yeah. bathroom. So. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So my great uncle Nestor, he's very religious and he's Polish, so mm -hmm. this town would be perfect for him. Mm -hmm. He's 90, but he still only looks like he's in his mid 50s to early 60s. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's from Austria, like my family, but he speaks Polish. Um, uh, he plays fiddle. Oh, that's neat. And uh, he just, in the last two years, got onset uh, Parkinson's. Okay. Okay. And so he shakes just a wee bit. Mm -hmm. And I had specialized in gerontology mm -hmm. and physiotherapy, mm -hmm. as well as multiculturalism mm -hmm. and um, sociology and theology <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. for the like all of those were nine year courses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I I would be able to, I worked a lot with people that had Parkinson's yeah. helping them do their exercises and stuff yeah so yeah. I could probably help them out quite a bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. what's your wife's name Stephanie yeah. Stephanie kids. This is Diana. She's the middle. She's two. And Stephen is almost four. And Peter's just not quite a year yet. Three ones, yeah. So, oh, so you guys are so, so young. Yeah, yeah. Starting the family and so. I have four grandchildren. Okay, okay. Wow. Which Mark is only too happy to say he's a grandpa because he got to hold them when they were born. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's neat, yeah. Yeah. And actually, he went to school with my daughters for a while. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, my grandchildren call him grandpa, they don't call him uncle. Mm -hmm. Whereas my ex husband's wife, they call auntie. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Is Mark working today or? Yeah, it's yeah. his weekend on. Okay, yeah. He used to work every weekend, but now that he's the new manager at Sable, he it's only every fourth weekend. Okay. Yeah. Unless uh, the emergency alert system calls, and then he's got to go out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, okay. Yeah. Good. Well, it's good to meet you, Jade. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, good to meet you, too. We'll connect with you guys more than we didn't. You're definitely welcome to come to the church. And, and, uh, so, can you say your full name one more time? Jonathan Coots. Jonathan Coots. Coots, yeah, Scottish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Not, uh, I was wondering. Yeah, it's not from around here, yeah. So, so, I grew up in Ontario. My wife grew up in northern Minnesota, actually, so she's American. Ah, uh, no, permanent resident. I used to live in Ontario. Okay, yeah. But I lived around the Thunder Bay, Sulaco, okay, yeah. Dryden, yeah. Um, close to Toronto. Okay, yeah. The okay. Athabasca area there. Okay. So, okay. And uh, what's the one Great Lake in that area again? Like Ontario or Lake like Huron? Uh. I don't think there's Lake Huron. The one Superior's that, up north. It's, the one that's closest to Thunder Bay. Maybe Lake Superior, I think. Yeah. That was a really crazy uh, ship ride. They went really fast. We were catching smelts. Yeah. Because yeah. it was the smelt season. Okay, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, used to be on Great Big uh, Bear Lake, which was so beautiful, but so risky with all its rocks and everything. And then Savant Lake, which I think is almost like bigger than one of the Great Lakes, but it's not attached to the Great Lakes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Went uh, trout fishing there and yeah. caught nine and 23 pound trout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Had to stick the rods in the boats though because I was only 90 pounds, not strong mm -hmm. enough yeah. to reel yeah. them in. Yeah. <laughs> but Ontario is so beautiful yes. and it's so friendly. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's the province that should have been called like friendly Ontario. <laughs> And a part of Ontario too. Right? Malicious Manitoba. <laughs> That's a very friendly experience this year too. Uh, this is the nicest town that I have lived in in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I moved 53 times by the time I was 49. Mm -hmm. So this has been my 54th move. Wow. And it's my last move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not moving again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Because... Yeah. This is home. Mm -hmm. yeah. and we got married here last year. Yeah. My cousin drove, like most of my family are gone now, so my cousin drove 21 hours straight from Alberta last spring to be here on time to get me away. Mm -hmm. So. You got married here at the house? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Good Friday, actually. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, April third. Okay. I know it's not the same. Well, you get her lying inside here, but uh, you too, Jonathan. Hi to your wife from her neighbors. Okay.